Welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at this Magic Refiner Mark 25 60% keyboard. This is a gaming board and maybe the best keyboard that I've come across for under £50. In fact, it's from Amazon and costs just £40 in the UK at the time of recording. I'm Really Random Reviews. I hope you're all doing fine and well and having a great day. With that being said, let's get into this. So, as I said, this is a 60% UK configuration and it comes with some serious RGB, but more on that later. It feels quite heavy for a small keyboard and it comes quite well presented in this sleeve type box. Normally I would skip reading the instructions, but in this case I would have a gander because there are so many secondary commands. It actually has the weight of an aluminium board, but it's not unfortunately, it's made from plastic throughout, all bar the internals, charging ports and electrical materials. It feels well built though, and to the eye it looks up to a reasonable standard, and at this price point the plastic is to be expected. The front has a little lip that curves down on either side, and you can see the seam quite obvious, though it does look clean enough. It has a USB type C input, and it is a wired keyboard so will need to be plugged in at all times. It has two folding feet on either side of the bottom towards the back, and these are two steps, so it's height adjustable, albeit three positions. Most premium boards have this type of feet, and they are very stable, they don't fold accidentally, unless heavy backward force is applied. The key sounds a little hollow, if I'm honest, but they do feel cushioned and responsive, I call them blocky caps. They're slightly curved too, which I also like, with clear characters so the RGB will glow through really well. There is also a generic USB Type-C cable included. It's not braided I'm afraid and it's just a standard white generic cable. There's also a generic keycap puller which is just a standard black plastic keycap puller but it does work as intended. The switches on this keyboard are red semi-mechanical so there's no click or feedback just the standard cushion type of key they're anti-ghosting keys and one thing i really like from this keyboard is that the number pad is missing which is one thing i never use it's also missing its f1 through f12 keys from the top row but as i mentioned earlier the fn button doubles up as a function button to redirect your one through to the plus button as your f12 and then as you can see on each of the keycaps it's also labelled, which tells you what each key does. There's honestly too many to list in this video, that's why I recommended you take a gander at the instruction leaflet when you first open the keyboard. When I used it in gaming, I found it to be better than my old board. My old board was a Moto Speed Semi Mechanical, that's what I was using as my daily. I actually prefer this one now. And after using it for a week or so, I also found that typing is easier for me. I'm not a very good typer anyway, and I'm quite slow, so pressing keys accidental is quite common for me. But I do catch the odd key higher up the board accidentally, but I think we all do that from time to time. The only negatives I've really found with this board is that one, it's wired, so it does need to be plugged in at all times. And two, it is a little hollow when you press the keys quickly or the space key repeatedly it can sound a little hollow there are techniques to dampen in that if you're into your custom boards and if you want to do little things yourself that's why the keycap pullers and stuff are included in case you want to make those modifications you can also change keycaps to custom keycaps if you like it is an excellent board in my opinion I'm going to leave you with some still shots of it here and then we're going to take a look at the RGB.
all things being considered including price to performance and the outstanding rgb functionality i have given this keyboard four and a half stars out of five if you found any of this video helpful guys drop me a thumbs up click the like button and subscribe button down there and thanks for watching guys until next time take care of yourselves and each other i'm really random reviews and i'll see you in my next video